Hi everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we're gonna to be talking about Discover, but before we do, I just wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button so you can see our videos as they come out. Now, Discover is designed by Roberto Fraga and Juan Manuel Rivero, and it is published by Blue Orange. All right, so many a night in high school and in college, I spent at the local record store going through vinyls and CDs, looking at different album covers, looking for artists I recognized, looking for art that I didn't recognize. Yeah. <gasps> Do you remember at Barnes & Noble, you could like scan it and like you, you could listen to it? That was the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about even before that, you were just like going through these dusty old used vinyls, looking for cool stuff that you didn't even know what it was, and just kind of building up your vinyl collection from there. I feel like that is a lost art, right? That Heck is something yeah. that people nowadays is they, everything is downloaded digitally so you don't get to see and hold the, the tactile album cover and look at it, right? And oh, then the best thing was listening to it the first time and the reading through the lyrics. Oh, that was Heck so yeah. good. All right, well, guess what? Blue Orange is bringing it back. This is a game all about album covers, vinyl covers, CD covers. You are looking at these covers. You're trying to match it up to music, trying to figure out what album cover matches the song that you're listening to the best. You're actually listening to actual music on your own devices. Um, so, yeah, we can show you how to play. Let's discover disc cover <laughs> together. All right, here is our setup for disc cover. Basically, at the beginning of every round, what you're going to do is out of this huge deck of cards, you are going to lay out four of them. And then we have these kind of these vinyls over here that are numbered one through four. You're also going to need a computer or a mobile device of some kind that can play random music. So I pulled up a random music generator. What you can do is you can kind of shuffle it, uh, press the next button, and you're going to listen to a little bit of a song. And you're going to listen to that and basically, you're going to figure out which album cover might match up to that particular song. So based off that kind of that haunting piano intro, maybe, we think that that matches well up with the, the Raven over there. So we're going to choose three. We're going to kind of select our dial. We're going to put that down. We're going to all simultaneously reveal what our votes were. All right, so let's say the majority of the people chose three. That's fantastic. Remember, this is a cooperative game, so we're trying to work together. We're trying to figure out what other people might have chosen as well. So the more people that can choose the same thing, the better. The more points we're going to get. Let's say out of the six players that we're playing, four of us chose number three. We would get four victory points. We're going to play a total of nine rounds, so we're going to see four new uh, album covers at the beginning of each round, and we're going to listen to nine songs, kind of assigning each one of those songs with whichever album cover has the majority vote. We're going to collect all those points, and at the end of the game, we're going to go to the rule book here, and there's a little chart that says, based off the number of players uh, and how many tokens you have, how good of a job did you do? So a six-player game, if we ended up with 35, it says we are on the beat. Now, there's also a competitive version of the game. It's going to work basically the exact same way. You're going to play nine rounds the exact same way as before. What's going to happen this time is, if you are ever part of a majority vote, you're going to gain one victory point. And every round, you're trying to be part of that main group, the majority group that has the finger on the pulse of what album cover matches the music the best. So you can get one point per round. You're still going to play nine rounds, so the most you can get is nine points. And the competitive version, whoever has the most points at the end of the game, wins. I really like aesthetically how, so you have these um, album covers that you're choosing from, and there's a lot of album covers in this game, but how you have like the little like disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, that's like sticking out like aesthetically. I really liked how that looked, and I really like how, I mean, you could have done anything, right? You could have just put a chip on them. You could have just put them, this is one through whatever, but I really like that little added thing, that little added touch that really just, it worked really well as a theme, and it was just cute like i liked it yeah and actually all the cards that are in this game are all actual album covers all actual album covers from artists all around the world there's actually even a little extra booklet in the game that shows you all where all are from you know what country it's from what the name of the of the album was and what the name of the artist was and so we had a lot of fun just kind of flipping through and just yeah. kind of like discussing that like that was a really fun uh just you know, i don't know just like talking about all that and like looking at that and just I thought that was really cool the way they kind of uh, threw that homage in there to all these different artists that supplied the art for this. Yeah. Um, there are two modes of play. So you can do a competitive version or you can do a cooperative version. So that's kind of nice that you can decide like how your game group likes this and you can go from there on that. I personally prefer the cooperative version better. Uh, for me, when you're playing the competitive version, when you get an, a, a point, it's probably because other people also got points, yeah. right? Because you all were the majority uh, in voting. So it felt like you were almost trying to team up with people, but it's not a competitive, you know, it's not 
it's competitive, so why would you want to team up with people? But you have to. So I, for that reason, I preferred the comp cooperative version, because that way you always were just cooperating. You're trying to mind meld with one another, uh, which I always love those kind of mind melding kind of games. We're trying to figure out what everybody else is ahead. You could play the game as though, you know, what do I think, you know, matches up the best. But then you could also play the, the game where, what do I think that everybody else at the table yes. thinks, yes. <laughs> you know? And so those two ways of playing and, and the way your brain works is a lot of fun. So I... Though I enjoy this and I liked it, I don't know if I would necessarily categorize it as a game. Like, this felt much more like an activity to me. I felt like this is something that you'd have, like, at a small group or a youth group. Or if you were on, like, you know, all the management took a retreat at your workplace. This is the type of game they would play to just get to know each other or get to understand how each other thinks. Because, like Ryan said, you could try to guess what the other person is going to do. But you're actually just trying to figure out what album cover you think matches that. So you're really, like, learning about people and what they associate with certain things so I kind of view this more as an activity than an actual like game game. I agree this is definitely one where when as you're looking at the art it's, it's, it's more of a conversation piece right this yes. is something where you yes, are 100%. looking at the art you're discussing the art you're discussing albums that you used to listen to and what your favorite album covers were and you're kind of all just talking on the table right this is definitely a good vehicle for getting discussion going uh, that being said I would probably not bring this to a game group and probably not even a party setting having to have that extra device with you that stuff like that yeah. this is something that I, I probably wouldn't break out of a game night uh, very often, but in those settings, those icebreaker settings, I think this would be a, a really fun way to kind of bring it back, especially people who did like to yes. look at album <laughs> covers and who are from that older generation like I am as an old, like old person. Like if you were a touring band, maybe bring this along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, how can I get my album in there? <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see your videos as they come out. Until then, you can find us in all of these places. You guys, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.